it's scary in one sense because it's so loved and it's so precious and Han is a character that is so loved by me, by everyone, by the world of Star Wars and so taking it on is scary but I know we've done it justice and when I first read the script I was just tingling with excitement because everything just makes sense and you're like yes so it's just really satisfying it's just really kind of yeah it was a it's a beautiful thing to be a part of and I'm really really very lucky to be standing here today it's just wonderful you know doing all the scenes with Chewie and everything was great and you really felt like you were really a part of the Star Wars world and he's very funny Jonas who plays Chewie met Chewie and I think a lot of people are wondering how that all happened so it's pretty exciting. Because Han is a, a, a rogue, uh, he's, he's devil may care, he's irreverent, he takes risks, he's all the things that people want to be but they're too scared to be. Well I think people know what makes these two characters uh, bond together so well. But do they know what, how did they get their start? Do they know how did that evolve into what it was? You can't help but be intrigued about what created these people and, the, and those friendships. I think what was so beautiful about the films in the first place is they just jumped straight in. You just have this un, untold history. And that's just given this, opportunity, this wonderful opportunity to be able to go back and have a, you know, have a little bath in what happened before, which is exactly what these films are. But there's such, there's, it's such an adventure tale. story was something that, that Larry Kazin dreamed of writing. This is the fourth Star Wars movie that he's written on, but this is the one he's been dying to do for years, long before Disney acquired Lucasfilm or any of those things. This is a story that he believed was something to really offer fans that would take advantage of, of everything that we've learned about this great iconic character and yet still surprise audiences. And, uh, and, and so I think it's a, it's a terrific adventure story and I was really, really thrilled to be a part of it. They're, they're, they're less encumbered by the, the responsibilities that the main franchise has and that they can be more playful and there can be more sort of um, uh, caper-like qualities and they can be escapades. Nice to see this part of his life. Yeah, and it's got a freedom to be a different kind of Star Wars movie than you've seen before. And, you know, he's not going up against the Empire exactly. He's got some different kind of enemies, so it's fun. Yep, there's a, there's a friendship theme, really, between Han and Chewie. There's also a friendship theme, you know, a gang theme, a, a belonging theme for Beckett. And there's a love theme for Gira. But is it really love? And that's what we were trying to do in the whole film, is question, you know, what is love, what is friendship? And I feel like there's enough there to satisfy, like, anybody who's ever wondered about Han and Lando. You know, and uh, you know, there's there's so much about Han in this movie that you know you start you you connect with that I, I with anybody who's young and you're starting to figure it out. So I just hope that people really connect and like they're they're interested in this world. Cause I was... And also, you start to fall in love with capes in general. I'm like, why don't people wear capes anymore? I understand maybe it's a little hard to get your hands out, but they look so fresh. You really can't top a, a good cape. She's wicked. She's wicked. She's um. Yeah, I was I was so thrilled to read the script because she is a, she's got such an amazing attitude. She's pugnacious. She's argumentative. She's got her own opinion. She built herself out of other droids. I mean, that's insane in itself. And she's um she's actually really inspirational. I carry a little bit of L3 with me everywhere I go now. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to be actually be uh, in front of the camera, if you could call it that, because I'm all digital. I play Rio Durant, who's, uh, who's an alien. It's so exhilarating. It's just insane. You kind of, you get these like different waves of realizing you're in a Star Wars movie. First of all, they give you the job and you're like, oh my God, I'm in a Star Wars movie. And then you get on set for the first time and you're like, oh my God, I'm in a Star Wars movie. And then suddenly you're here, and it's a press sign, the song, and then the Oscars, and you're like, I'm in a Star Wars movie. <laughs> and it's like these different stages of like overwhelming <laughs> kind of intensity that kind of comes with this. And I just, um, I just really hope we've done the fans proud. Uh, but uh, I was uh, alive in the 70s, and uh, I remember very well when 
what a big deal it was uh, at the time when this Star Wars originally came out. And uh, so I guess I never thought this opportunity would happen, but it's great to be a part of this. You, know, it, it, you can really tell in the movie the energy that's right through the film is this sense of excitement and reverence for a character that is so beloved. Right down to the design of the costumes, you know, that fantastic retro edge, which is so, you know, so akin to the character that we know of Harrison Ford. And I think that really that was sort of, it, it, it was delivered right through the whole production. Lando was my first toy ever. Like, my dad bought it for me. So being a part of this, being part of Star Wars family, it means it means like the world, you know, because I, I and, and I don't I don't say that lightly, you know, I'm a fan myself, so I appreciate all the fans, I appreciate how much people care about it, and like, you know, I just wanted to, you just want to make a, a good movie and, and have fun with the people in it, so like, I, it just feels great, it's like a dream. Yeah, it was wonderful, we had a great time.